Hello everyone in the baby knit section. I received a beautiful gift, so check that out. Browse through if you're looking for inspiration. And today I'm going to show you, um, I want to say jumper. It is a free knitting pat pattern. It is designed by the Novel Tread and it's called French Macaroon. I hope I'm saying right. My friend sent it to me because it's an interesting construction and she lets me to sew the ends. And before I do that, so before I show you the finished object, I can show you how it looks before it will be sewn together to show a proper look, but also how it looks, but also show you the construction. So let me show you the construction. see it is knitted as a one piece we start I presume one of the ends it looks like this is the end so I presume this is the beginning so we start over here and we're knitting then we're adding more stitches and we're knitting the sleeves until we get to the whole section the whole section where we cast off some stitches take cast off some stitches and then we'll continue that with this adding some stitches on the way back probably it doesn't feel a lot over here if we had a bigger hole that would mean that the little section had to be filled in with a little bit smaller ball and then joined but i don't feel it that way and then we have the second part of the sleeves and then we have either this is front or back i'm not sure if there's a difference if we fold it together i think there is no difference between front and back although maybe one thing is higher than the other it look that we have slightly something over here on the top than here so that would be interesting feature so check that out and my job is to put things together so what i'm going to do i have yarn and basically i will mattress stitch the whole thing in under the armpit to the sleeve and then do the same thing on the other side and then it will be completed. Thank you so much for teamwork. <laughs> Although Diane made uh, definitely more work. Although Diane put more work over here than me and um, maybe over here I will leave you a video to pants that she created and matching pants to this. <sighs> I think also free knitting pattern but I think it was from Drops Designs and yeah, just check it out. So that's that. I'll be back soon with a finished garment. Hello everyone. Let me show you a lovely baby knit. It is a sweater or a jumper you would call it. It's a free pattern on Ravelry, so definitely check it out. It was knitted by my lovely friend Diane, so I'm just bragging about it because I got it as a gift for my lovely little daughter. <music> before when I recorded a video with the uh, construction how it looks and now I seamed it on the side as you can see and I put a tag that I got from another friend and I love it so much hopefully in the beginning of the video I also showed you that we used already this lovely garment knitted by my friend in baby knit toe up and hopefully I've included Ravelry information if not on the screen now over here so it was quite easy to add I'm not sure I try to I try to be consistent I'm not sure that I do it right but whatever you're doing for a longer period of time it creates some kind of pattern so uh, that could be that you've done it on purpose maybe it shouldn't be like that maybe I could actually grab that and then we'll have garden stitch over here but that also gives a nice lovely effect and we can go 
with the idea that I had that in mind to emphasize the side of the jumper. That was definitely a team effort. And I have a yarn over here that it was to use. It's Mary Maxine Simple Sock Watercolors Superwash Wool Polamide Sock Yarn. So we have 75%, 25% over here. I think I've checked it already. Uh, Superwash Wool 25% Polyamide. And the color is sand. So check the screen. Maybe you have the yarn like this. Um, at your place because as you have seen my daughter wore it and obviously she wore it on the top of her cotton how do you call this thing completely forgot um you know baby wears and she was fine with it and if you're curious what kind of hat she's wearing hopefully that will be in the future a video so i'm going to record it now so finger crossed she'll still keep sleeping free pattern check it down below i would definitely recommend to knit it as you have seen we fold it at the um sleeves because they're uh, she is smaller than uh, this garment but she can still wear it as a tunic and then we will just be using it for a longer period of time because it stretches nicely and if i really really wanted to i could definitely uh, take the tag off and knit more over here in regards to the size of the circumference of the arm that max what we can do about it um, but we shall see how long we're going to use it she looks lovely in it and i'm so grateful for my lovely friend to knit it for us <laughs> okay i hope i haven't forgot anything if i did read a comment down below i'll try to re reply to you as soon as i can and i hope to see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.